hello guys welcome back to my channel um <laughs> thanks again for coming back as you can tell by the title of this video <laughs> this is gonna be a funny one uh this is based on um i'm just gonna call it the lies that our mothers told us so as you can tell or as you already know uh known I'm, I'm a nigerian and if you grew up in a, in a typical nigerian home you would realize that or you would find out that um Actually, if you're a female, you realize that your being of existence is for a man, basically. And generally, our society promotes living for another person, living for your neighbor, living for your relatives. In that, for instance, if you want to throw a party, you, 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 you would want to do that so that because you don't want people to think that you're poor, so you, you throw a lavish party. So people go to the extent of borrowing and, and getting or acquiring incurring these huge debts just because they don't want their neighbors or relatives to to think that they're poor and so people some people live beyond their means just because they feel like they don't want the other person to look down on them or they don't want a certain person to feel like oh they're poor and cannot afford some some things so basically we live for for our neighbors and our relatives and we live for other people in a way but it's really funny because with the most selfish Set of people who are very selfish like if you think of our leaders very selfish set of people but that is another story for another day so today's going to be a very light-hearted video and uh, just a disclaimer this is again this is a light-hearted video so nobody should come for me <laughs> and nobody should at me uh this is obviously what i'm going to be saying today is just based on my own personal experience or what i hear my friends and close people that are close around me what they say and again this is not to bash Nigerian mothers, this is not to bash Nigerians or Nigerian families. This is again, this is a light hearted video just to lighten up things around here. Okay, um, so one of the things my mom used to tell me growing up was that if you're a female, this will be so familiar to you. Oh, Shadi, you have to remain a virgin till marriage. Ah, oh my god, those days those days those were the days those were the days and i wasn't really a sexual person like i wasn't a sexual teenager growing up but yeah she used to hammer this i can remember for as young as uh, when i was 10 11 even 9 yeah i was that young when she would always hammer this on me and my younger sister you have to remain a virgin to get married you have to remain a virgin to get married and these are the reasons she would give us so if you see me looking this way it's because i wrote down things and i don't want to forget them one of the reasons she would give us, and this is one of the reasons she would uh, give me, men who want to marry you. Oh my God, as if no man would marry a woman that is not a virgin. So again, going back to the earlier statement where I said that, you basically live for the other person. So it wasn't until I became born again and I realized that, oh, you could actually remain a virgin for God, not for another man. But again, that is another story for another day. Well, yeah, so she would tell me that men want to marry you as if men would not want to marry someone that is untouched, that is that has been touched. The another reason she would give me is after they marry you, they will pamper you, you know, they'll pamper you for life, they will honor you, they'll place you on this pedestal, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, lies, lies from the pit of hell. I'll just say this, right? If you, if you're a lady and you're listening to me, you're a young lady and you want to remain a virgin, Actually, I actually encourage um, modesty and I encourage chasteness. But again, I'm not going to force it on anybody. But if you, if it's something you want to consider, like staying um, chaste till marriage, do it for yourself. Do it for your religion. Do it for your God. Don't do it for another man. No. Don't do it thinking that a man would cherish and honor you because of that. It won't work. Putting yourself up for disappointment because at the end of the day, the man treats you bad. You start thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, I remained a virgin for you. I gave you this. Like, you don't deserve this. Why did I do this to myself? You'll be heavily disappointed. So don't, 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 don't keep yourself just because of another human being. All right. And another lie my mom used to tell me. Well, not a lie, actually, but... Where you judge for yourself, she would say, 
read your books, go to school, get a degree, and men will line up for you. You would not have any problem getting a man to marry. In fact, she used to say this to a lot that oh, if you if you have a if you have a degree, if you read your books, men would like she should literally say men will line up, like men will be on the queue for you. I'm looking outside the window now. I can't see any queue. I'm sorry. I can't see any queue. I've never seen any queue. I've never seen any man line up to want to marry me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe I was this gullible. I mean, I never did whatever I did for men, but I would just sit down and take that all in. Like, hmm, maybe it's true, you know, because she's my mom. She's older than me. So that equates to is dumb. So obviously she's wiser than me so maybe what she's saying is true actually it's funny when i think about it now it's really funny when i think back at all those things she used to tell me another thing she used to say is um the way to a man's heart is through his stomach <laughs> oh my god like you know how hmm she literally wanted me to learn how to cook solely because of a man. Not because of myself, not because that, oh, I'm going to have to need to know how to cook in the future because I need to feed myself. Nah, because of a man and then because of my future children. So she would say things like, oh, Shade, you need, to, you need to learn how to cook. You need to learn how to clean because of your children and your husband in the future. And also, if, if, if you don't know how to cook, your man is going to leave you or your man is going to have a side chick. Your man is going to go out to eat, blah, 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 blah. And if you want to get to a man, you have to know how to cook. Because if a man is hungry, you cannot get to him emotionally or whatever. Whew. The way we've been brainwashed to think that our being of existence is solely for a man. It's just shocking to me right now. It's really shocking to me. And unfortunately, I never learned how to cook. In fact, I hate cooking. That's I can cook some things, but I, I don't like to cook. I don't like to cook. I don't cook at all. I can eat crackers and um, take some fizzy drinks for life and be satisfied. So I think that she's a bit disappointed on, in that area because I, was, I never learned how to cook, basically. <laughs> that was just crazy it's just crazy when you when you think about all of those things that it made us do because of men and because of children especially because of men and this is not to say that um boys in the house didn't go through these pressures as well um i, I had ju have just one brother but i can imagine in some households where men would be forced to think that they have to attain a certain level of uh, financial security because of a woman right i mean if you're going to make those things part of the way you bring up a child let it be based on them their selves like make someone want to work hard because of their, them, because of how they should be able to fend for themselves in the future and so that they can be responsible human beings to the society not because of another person you know what i mean like if i have a son we want he to be hardworking, to make something for him for himself because of himself, not because of a woman, not because of some imaginary children in the future. That that's just what I'm saying. I, I just feel like they would make us live for ourselves, not for other people, not for relatives, not for some imaginary personnel in the future. You know what I mean? So yeah, so those are just a few few lies. I said lies, right? A few lies that uh, our, that my parents, especially my mom, brought me up with. So if you'd like to share some things that are peculiar to your household, you can just leave them in the comment uh, section and we can just laugh over it. All right. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.